Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a ColourPop haul and review and swatch um, all in one. So I, I'm just going to dive into it because I've made two ColourPop purchases and I was waiting and I was thinking about making another one so then I was going to wait but now I'm going to hold off on that one until maybe like next paycheck or something like that. Um, so I will just go ahead and show you. So it came in this box. These are all my products that I have. It came in this box. My first order, since I only placed a couple things, came in like um, one of those cushy envelopes. Um, but my second order came in this box and then you open it and it says ColourPop. And they have a few cards on here. Um, and then I just want to note that there's like a foam. Let me see, I'll take those out. There's a foam down here that all of my products came wrapped in. Um, it was like they were in it was like a burrito a foam burrito that had all of the products in it So it was really well packaged um, and nothing was broken. So I was really really happy with that um, And then I think it is worth noting that um, Colourpop for me at least in my experience is not the fastest processing and shipping um, I live in the same town that this company is based out of. They're based out of um, Santa Monica and that's like literally seven miles from me. Um, and every time I placed an order it took me, I would say probably um, a week and a couple days to get it. Like it just, it took them at least three to five days to process the order. And then it just took a long time for it to actually get here, which I don't, I don't know why since I live in the same town um, was a little bit weird to me, but it's not the biggest deal. I just thought it was worth noting in case you guys wanted to know. Um, some people might have a good like experience with their shipping being really fast. Who knows? Um, so when you first open up the package, they do have some cards in here. And the first one is like a little handwritten note. Um, this is the one that came with this order. The other one is different. So they're not all the same, but I do think that they have them like like things pre-made like or things to um, for them to write like a few um, and it just says Kristen TYFBA thank you for being awesome I didn't do it for you ColourPop I'm naturally awesome but you know thanks for admiring that and noticing it's really nice I'm just kidding god oh god um, so then it just comes with some cards that are tips and tricks for your products so tips and tricks for your blushes tips and tricks for your lippy sticks which I hate the name um, and tips and tricks for your shadows. So um, that's really cool. It just like, you know, for different, like for the lippy sticks, um, explains what each one is, like matte satin, hyper glossy, matte finish, pearlized, glossy finish. Um, and then it has some like for maximum coverage and how to blend and when finished and um, stuff like that. So I thought that's really cool that they include these things just in case you get your products and you don't know what the hell to do with them. Um, so, you know, that's always helpful. We'll go ahead and get into the products themselves. Um, so they each do come individu individually packaged. I have swatched and worn most of all of these, um, so they, they're not in like pristine brand new condition. But I kept the box for some of them just to show you. They have um, the boxes divided. I don't have a box for the lippy sticks because it's probably what I used first. Um, but they have them in separate boxes. So this is a blush, which retails at $8. This is an eyeshadow that retails at $5. The blush, um, all of their packaging comes with like a coral top and then white all around. The eyeshadows come with a mint green top with white all around. And then the lippy sticks, I believe it's purple on, pop, on top and white all around. Um, so it's just kind of like a good way to keep everything organized. The blushes are $8 and you get 4.2 grams or 0.15 ounces. Um, the eyeshadows are $5 and you get 2.1 grams or 0.07 ounces. So it is good to note that the blushes are twice the amount of the eyeshadows. Um, you get twice the product and it's not double the price. Um, so that's nice. And then the lippy sticks, let's see, what does it say on here, are 1 gram and 0 .0352 ounces. So I'm going to start with the blushes. I have um, four shades, and this is their most recent launch. I have the shade, uh, let me see, I have the shades Holiday, this is Thumper, this is Clutch, and then this is Pegacorn. I got some of the less natural shades um, because... I don't know, I like blush a lot and I wanted some stuff that I didn't really have already in my collection. 
Um, so I'm going to just tell you about the product and then do some swatches of them. It's also good to note that they do recommend tightly closing your packages, otherwise these can dry out. So this is the shade Thumper. Super pretty, light color. This is a matte finish. Um, and these have the most interesting texture. When I first got them, I was kind of like, I knew they were going to be like that kind of moussey cream. They're not like super creamy, but they're... They are creamy, but I would say they're also dry. They're like a mousse. They're like a moussey texture. And you can like kind of, kind of press down into them. Um, but it does pick up, up a lot, a lot of pigment. Um, I think it is easiest to apply these with a densely packed brush. This is Thumper. Um, and the brush that I've been using for it is the Zoeva 103 Defined Buffer. So it's got an angle, so I would just like dip it in and then I would just kind of like pat it on almost. And then it would blend out beautifully. I absolutely love these blushes. I think they're gorgeous. Um, but they do have that kind of creamy mousse texture, so they're a little bit more interesting to work with. It's not really something that's heavily on, it's not on the market blushes like these. So it's kind of like there's a learning curve with them, so just be patient. Um, you can make them work. They're absolutely stunning and I absolutely love them. The next color is Clutch and this is also a matte finish. It's hard to get them open because I tightly closed them. This is like the one that you can kind of still see the pattern because I haven't even worn this one. I've just um, swatched it. That's Clutch. This would look gorgeous on women with, I would say, medium to dark skin tones. Ho oh. ho! Yeah, that's the good one. That's the that's the shade right there. Absolutely love this one. This is freaking beautiful. Holy frit. This is Holiday, which is more of a peachy, corally pink. Uh, absolutely love this. This is also a matte finish. <sighs> they're brighter in person. I just want to say I'm like looking down at my viewfinder and I think they're brighter in person but they're absolutely stunning. And then my last shade is Pegacorn, and this is a satin. These blushes, this blush, this color specifically, I love deeper fuchsia shades like this. Like, absolutely love deeper shades like this. This would look gorgeous on anybody that has a, I would say, again, I mean, you can wear this if you're fair because I've worn it and it's beautiful. You just have to be a little bit lighter handed with it. Um, this is a gorgeous, like fuchsia berry shade that would look stunning on anybody with like a medium tan to deep skin tone especially deep skin tones it'll really give you a beautiful glow so i have seven of the eyeshadows and i really should only have six because one of them i didn't order but i think i guess they just sent it to me um and i'll start with that one so this is the super shock shadow in sugar plum and this is a satin finish and it's just a it's like a it's a white, but it's got duochrome. It's got like a pinky, purpley duochrome. Let's see if I can. Oh, my blush mixed in with it. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. Super lovely. Um, the only thing that I have a problem with this one is, it's, I don't know if it's like the formulation or any, or if it's like a satin duochrome, but it doesn't apply the smoothest. I've tried with just my finger, I've tried with a synthetic brush, I've tried with a natural haired bristle brush. Um, I think that you get the best, like the smoothest coverage with your finger, um, but it is gorgeous. I did put a shadow over top of it and the duochrome was still shining through and it was stunning. Like beautiful 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 so you can make it work but um it's just maybe a little bit trickier so the next shade is bubbly and it is a metallic and i believe it's described as the perfect like baby pink with um i think it's got like gold it's got silver and pink glitters and it's absolutely beautiful the, it's worth noting too that the eyeshadows have a little bit of a different texture they're not as creamy as the um as the blushes, they're just a little bit more moussey and dry. They're still moussey like the blushes, but they're a drier mousse, whereas the blushes are a little bit of a creamier mousse. Oh my god, it's all getting so confusing. So this is bubbly. Super pretty. Absolutely love this. It's a metallic. Let's see if we can get a good... 
there you go you can kind of see it's reflective qualities the next shade is a maze this is also metallic a lot of the ones i got were metallic that wasn't on purpose it just kind of happened like that um and this is in the shade of maze this is supposed to be a rose gold i think it's just more of a like coppery gold i don't really think it's very rosy um but it's still beautiful nonetheless i'll show you it in the packaging this is it in the packaging and then that's it swatch see it's just like it's more like a very metallic version of like urban decay's half baked this this one's my favorite color and if i were to tell you to buy any of the eyeshadows it's gonna be this one this is the shade so quiche this is another metallic it is like an olivey green brown with a pink and silver and gold glitter running throughout it it's absolutely absolutely beautiful oh my goodness i can uh it is the most interesting color oh my god i'm gonna pass out every time i look at this color i want to like make out with it i don't know it's beautiful the next color that i have is a pearlized okay so we're getting into some other textures and it is in chipper and it is this gorgeous oh my god this gorgeous mint green i have this um liner from stila in emerald that is like the liner version of this and i bought this shadow because i one i thought it was beautiful and then i remembered i had that so i wore that in my waterline and then i smudged this down below and then I just did like a normal black wing on top and everybody's like, what's your eyeliner? It is beautiful. And I was like, let me just tell you about this brand called ColourPop. Everything, not everything. The shadows are $5. And then they were crapping their pants along with me. So <laughs> this is chipper. I mean, come on. This is like unreal. Stop it. Oh my god. Every time I swatch these, I just can't get over it. Ev like, literally every single time. You'd think I'd be used to it by now, but I'm not. Makes me want to crap bricks every single time. They're so pretty. Sorry if, you know, my way of describing things is, uh, you know, not your favorite, but, you know, this, this next shade is Super Shock Pressed Pigment in erotic and i'm just now reading on the back that it says not for eye area but i'll probably use it on my eye area so this is erotic it is an electric neon coral with gold i believe it's it's like gold and then yellow glitters throughout it's stunning i i mean i bought all the weird colors uh -huh. this could be a blush this would be a pretty blush so I guess if you don't want to use it on your eye area, like I'll probably do, um, you can use it as a blush or as like a lip color. You know, say love you, whatever you want to do. The next shade is Super Shock Pressed Pigment in Slave to Pink. This is like a metallic, metallic shade. Um, hot pink with purple and blue and pink glitters running throughout. It's absolutely stunning. This one also says not to use it on your eye area. I have used it on my eye area, not seeing that, and it was fine. It's cool. Um, I actually used this and then the bubbly shade to do like an ombre liner, and it was really pretty. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Ready? Oh my god, just look at all of them. My arm is like a rainbow of happiness. Oh, they're so beautiful. These are the eyeshadows that I have. They're $5, absolutely worth it. Such good value for money. They're phenomenal. They're beautiful. I can't get over them. I'm going to order them until I have everything that they make. What are they going to come out with next? Ooh, highlighters. I would die. So I'll go ahead and go into lips. I only have five lippy sticks. I'm just going to preface. I hate that name. Lippy sticks. I don't like saying it. Um, but that's what they're called. So... That's what we'll that's what we'll go with. So I'll start with this color, which is Fetch, and it is a satin. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll do it here. 
That's Fetch. It's just a beautiful, like, springy, bright, corally pink. Absolutely love it. This next shade is Brills, and it is exactly what it says. It's freaking brilliant, and I love it. It is this gorgeous, like, pinky lavender. It's like a more pastel, a little bit brighter version of Up the Amp from MAC, which is like one of my favorite MAC shades of all time. Um, this is stunning. It's probably my first or second favorite out of all the ones that I got. Um, this next one is the shade I Heart This, and it is a matte shade. It is a beautiful like raspberry pink. Yeah, raspberry is a good way to describe that. The gorgeous raspberry pink absolutely love it super stunning and my next one is the shade wet which is a pearlized which i haven't actually worn on its own i did try it on in my apartment but it is stunning it kind of reminds me of the sh that one shade rihanna just came out with a few months ago for mac um it kind of this kind of reminds me of that and then this last color i bought solely from the fact that nikki tutorials was wearing it and she looked bomb.com freaking love her face and it is the shade pitch and it is like a i hate when people say this this is just a chocolate color because it's not it's definitely got some like warm red undertones but it is very primarily brown um but it does have that undertone of red think salem from lime crime except i think this is a little bit more brown these are all of my color pop goodies and swatches thus far. Sorry, get it in frame. Absolutely, absolutely love this brand. If you're thinking about ordering something, you won't regret it. You get free shipping over $30. If you sign up for their newsletter, you can get a $5 off coupon. Um, so if you want to save money or just get one extra thing and it be like the same price as it would be, um, then I highly recommend it. Uh, absolutely love this line. I couldn't recommend it more. I'm telling everybody about it. I think everything is just stunning. And I can finally put away the box and throw away all of the packaging now <laughs> and just add it to my collection because I finally filmed this video. Um, if I get more from this line, I will do updated videos. But as of right now, this is what I have and it'll probably stay that way for at least like a couple weeks. I mean, we'll see how long I can resist because I actually have a list of the things that I want to get from them from watching everybody else's ColourPop hauls. So that is everything that I have at the moment. I will talk to you all very, very soon. If you have any requests or comments, um, nice ones, please, then leave them down below. I will speak to you all very soon. My Instagram and Twitter are down below if you'd like to follow me there as well. Um, please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.